Monty Python's Flying Circus episodes 37, 38, 39. It's a three-parter and it's the last one in this season. I have a hair on my lip. <laughs> this is the last three that we're going to see before we lose John Cleese and I don't know how I feel about it. It's like 50-50. A lot of you are saying not to watch them. A lot of you are saying to still watch them. I, of course, I'm still going to watch them. I mean, it's still Monty Python and then I can decide for myself whether I like them or not. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have this three, this three, <laughs> these three, this three episodes and then maybe take a little bit of a break before we do the next season, which I think is only a handful of episodes. And then, of course, we're going to do Faulty Towers at some point. I have so, so many movies on the list that I need to get through. We're going to probably get through a load of those first and then do the series so that I always have a series to do. That's the plan. Right, so from the last one, I saw in a lot of the comments that there is De Dennis Moore. Dennis Moore episodes coming. I don't know what that is. Don't know what that means. I think a lot of you are looking forward to seeing them, so they must be good. Or there's something in them that you really want to see. I think it was Dennis Moore. Half of the time I think I'm just making this stuff up. Okay, are you ready for it? Flying Circus episode. What did I even just say? 37? Episode 37. And because we've got the three episodes, we'll just get started right now. Right, right now. And play. Boxing, Boxing tonight. tonight comes from the Empire Pool, Wembley. Have we seen this one before? I don't think you will either. And so this big Lincolnshire heavyweight becomes the new Oxford Professor of Fine Art. Oxford Professor of Fine Art. <laughs> and now... There he is. It's... <laughs> it's... Flying! Oh, I'm going to miss that voice. Horses. You move at your pedal, but I have two pistols here. <laughs> I know one of them isn't loaded anymore, but the other one... <laughs> it certainly wouldn't be worth your while risking it because I'm a very good shot. I practice every day. Well, not absolutely every day. <laughs> most... <laughs> I reckon I could hit that... Four times out of five. Four times out of five. On a good day. <laughs> you your tiny mind. Be careful, he'll shoot you. Just as I thought. Oh. Never enough, my fine friends. That's Bonnie Flowers. Dennis Moore, Dennis Moore, coming through. Oh, that's Dennis Moore. <laughs> Mr. Moore. I'll be back. Nobody needs flowers, though. Tell him you need money. What, by that, Dr. Morrison? He's killed more patients than I've had severe boils. <laughs> what man is that? Uh, this is where your home can bow. join in. Oh yeah, spell, foretoken, besage, foretain, foreshadow. Foreshadow, forerun, herald, point to, betoken, indicate. I don't know. <laughs> what's yours, Irene? Basil. I'm sorry, what's yours, Basil? No. <laughs> Aquarius, Sagittarius, Darian, Tom's, Basil. I don't think so. Not that I know much about them, but I don't think there is. Peter Wingard will come and declare his undying love for you. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the afternoon, you will die. You'll be buried. Good morning. Good morning. Can you make it all back? Uh oh. Why is he got going on him? Um, he's a doctor with anger issues. Oh. What's that doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a thief. Come on, all of it. Oh, that was a picture of a safe. <laughs> Test your reflexes. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. I keep collecting the pensions and try not to spend too much on food. Bye. Ah, oh, Mr. Millichoke. <clears throat> What the hell happened to him? <laughs> hey, you can't say you didn't see it coming. Where did that hand go? The great debate. Gentlemen, should there be a fourth television channel or not? Yes. More the better. Francis. Nope. Sir A. Yes, Patrick. 
No. Well, there you have it. Two that wasn't a debate. Come on. Oh. Oh. Stand and deliver. Dennis Moore. Mercedes. Dennis Moore. Your lupins, please. Oh. Oh. Why is he only stealing flowers? Your life or your lupins, my love. Your life or your lupins. Why does everyone have lupins on them? Oh, you, you tricked him! We still have one! Hooray! He'll come back for it. Mr. Moore! Mr. Moore! Mr. Moore! All we've eaten, mate, for the last four bleeding weeks is lupin soup! Can you even eat lupins? I don't even know what lupin is! Do we even wear the bloody thing? <laughs> Looks very smart. Oh, shut up! Tell him you need something else. I like gold and silver and clothes and wood and jewels. Hey, and... Hang on, I'll get a piece of paper. Oh, oh God. <gasps> oh, it's a way to. Come on, Dennis Moore. Dennis Moore, Dennis Moore. They don't know the words. Dum dum dum. Swag. Oh, swag. Is that an F? Here we are. At least he's got something of worth this time. He's like a really crap Robin Hood. Un, deux, trois. Four hundred. And this year's no <laughs> <laughs> I know what's under there. Only if he's a true Scotsman, though. <laughs> Land of custard? Custard? Dennis Moore, Dennis Moore. God's sake, that song. Stuck in my head. Well, that's the last, and let's just see those last six once again. Ah, the judging. And the winner is... Number... 41, Mr. Justice Bell. I went to 30. Number 22 looked like he was having a good time. Was now dependent on <laughs> My lords, my ladies, on your feet, please. Did you just keep going back to the same people? <laughs> exactly as I sail, I shall be forced to shoot you right between the eyes. Well, not right between the eyes. I mean, I, I, obviously, I don't have to be that accurate. I don't know how it'd be that accurate. Your gold, your silver, your jewellery. You've taken it all. This is all we've got left. That's nice. Give your underwear. I'll have them. Spoons. Uh, bloody looping too. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've gone through that stage. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Moore, Dennis Moore. Dennis Moore, etc. 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 Et <laughs> That's the words I need. Stupid bitch. <laughs> he steals from the poor and gives to the Yeah, take it all back. Blimey, this redistribution of wealth is trickier than I thought. Mm-hmm. Dennis Moore, Dennis Moore, etc., etc. Uh, well, now look, if I give you that, uh, have you got a bit of jewellery yet? It's getting very confused. Poor Dennis Moore. That's nice. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Take your hat off. Ah, he's got a tiara. <laughs> Dennis Moore, Dennis I mean, Moore, etc., etc. Et All right, he had posture. But where was he the summing up? Oh, he's crying. Shut up, Malcolm. There's always next year. <laughs> Poor judge. Sorry, no chance. <laughs> Yay! Well done, Dennis Moore. That was episode 37. Was it? I don't know. Was it? Yeah. Dennis Moore, Dennis Moore, riding through the lands. Episode 38. Here we go. Oh, it's not often it starts like this anymore. Flying circus. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the sunset. The sunset. Was, what was, was. His name's too good. He's not very good at all. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Nobody can see Edinburgh. Crimson streak sky. In the shadows of Kuruganu. Between the three of them, they might be able to read the whole story. Trains are, it's a dangerous job! Yeah, that's what I thought that time. There's going to be none left. You see, what is worrying me, Sergeant? I'll make it a good one, Sergeant! No, I'll make it a good one. <laughs> <laughs> no! A time 
to lose. No, no time to lose. No time to lose. No, no time to lose. No, no time to lose. To lose. To lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at his leggies. Thanks, sir. I call the dog. No time to lose. Very good, sir. That's it. Uh, 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 uh. It's going to fall off of there. You see his butt. Sapper Mac MacDonald. Uh. Made, made their way. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. It's like teaching a child how to read. There's a flamingo. Would Albert Einstein ever have hit upon the theory of relativity if he hadn't been clever? All these tremendous... If he hadn't been clever. Nevertheless, scientists believe that these penguins, these comic, flightless, web-footed little bastards... <laughs> ...that the penguin is intrinsically more intelligent than the human being. Nah. ...and remained with them until his death. <laughs> now... <laughs> what is the next number? Two, four, six. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Well, he's got pants on, he's not a true Scotsman. He hasn't done off. Slotting! Alex Liger! He's going to run! An exploded Scotsman squad. Oh, they're at one already. <laughs> Vodka! The golfer and inventor of Catholicism. Good evening! Oh God. <laughs> you have to spot the loony. Spot. I'll spot the loony. I'm afraid there's been an error in our computer. The correct answer should, of course, have been number four and not Katie Boyle. <laughs> Katie Boyle is not a loony. I don't know who Katie Boyle is. All you have to do is spot the loony. They all are. They all are. Especially the one at the front. <laughs> the loony was, of course, the writer, Sir Walter Scott. <laughs> I didn't write that. Sounds more like Dickens. You bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Man, please. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> These trees be. Oh, well, we gave the forestry right. commission in 1924. The forestry commission <laughs> systematically replanted. <laughs> That's 40,000 acres of virgin forest. By 1980, go away. It's his mic. Who are the casual? Kick his ass. Red gone back. No, Scott showed himself to be not only a fuck. Beat him up. Spruces and furs of this forest. Come on, you're bigger than him. Also, a writer of humour and. Bully's here. <laughs> <laughs> This has been used up at the rate of... You don't like it. Scott was Angus Tinker. <laughs> then, then, the end. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The end. The end. You have another unexploded Scotsman there. He's in charge of Dad's a doctor. Of Why have they never got trousers on? Plays the girl with a large <gasps> breast. I saw boobs. And followed by the ratings game. The There's Looney that man. The loony. Don't forget to switch off your sets. Good night. Good night. Love you. What episode is that? 38. Oh no. Oh no. It's the last one. I don't want to press play because it's the last one and then it's all over and it's so sad. Are you sad? I'm sad. I get too caught up in them. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Last one, episode 39. Better be a good one. It better be a good one. Good evening. We've got an action-packed evening for you tonight on Thames. Yes. Here's a rotten old BBC program. <laughs> There's his butt. And now... It's... It's... Yes. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, friends of the society... Oh, I feel sad. Anyone... <laughs> our society but nonetheless has only done more okay <laughs> just stop talking now than that which i have no doubt you will all want to join oh my god stop talking great 
Showbiz stiff. <laughs> stiff. Ladies and gentlemen. Get on with it. Oh, he's got a little bow tie. Mr. Richard Baker for lemon curry. Lemon curry? Lemon curry! <laughs> Not again! Lemon curry. There is only one thing in the world worse than being talked about. And that is not being talked about. <laughs> very good, very good. There is only one thing in the world worse than being witty, and that is not being witty. <laughs> <laughs> very amusing, Lord Kimball. Would you excuse me a moment? I want to powder my nose. Powder my nose. What kind of powder she using? No. Oh. She just needed a poo. Oh, that's better. <laughs> better out than in. Oh, I saw a big boob. Oh, I saw. <laughs> that's somebody. Oh. Oh. Uh. David Niven cannot be with us tonight, but he has sent his fridge. Fridge? Oh, it's got a bow tie on it again. <laughs> Taking a weird turn. Oh. <laughs> I love him. Oh, I couldn't afford a whole new brain. <laughs> Where did you get one of those curries, brain? How much are they? I don't know. I'll have a look in the catalogue. Here we are. In the catalogue. Remember when everything was catalogues? I'd like to try one of your 13 and 6 penny brains, please. Yes. 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 Yeah. Um. I knew it! I knew it was going to happen! And don't ask her too many questions because it will get hot. Fake if money. Trouble, here's my card. Give us a ring. <laughs> Give us a ring. <laughs> oh, this is so daft. It's hilarious. Uh, he's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a penguin! And a... <laughs> There's an unexploded Scotsman. No, you may not give urine instead of blood. He's getting really close to his neck. No, I don't care if you want to. No, there's no such thing as a urine bank. They have a sperm bank. It comes out the same place. It's mine. Uh, this blood's mine. What are uh, you doing <laughs> You found it. You, you stole it out of my body, didn't you? Ah. Stole out of my body. <laughs> Never. Give it back to me. All right. But only if I can give you urine. <laughs> Get the cube. Who wants his urine? When wife swapping with Coleman comes live. <laughs> Till then, good night. Good night. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's not the real end. They do that a lot. I'm on to them. Are you there in Bristol, Arthur Briggs? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> my favourite couple. <laughs> oh, wrong sketch. The Reverend Ronald Sims, the dirty vicar of St Michael's. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what a lovely... Did he just grab his bum? <laughs> 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 That's more than dirty. Most attentive, particularly the little serving maid of the great big knocker to work. Yeah, that's big boobs. <laughs> well, there we are. <laughs> He's laughing, I saw him laughing. Can be happier at this time <sighs> than I am. Okay. Okay. Oh, it is finished. That's it. That's it. All done. It's the real, real end. It's so sad. It's so, so sad. It's so strange because I feel like I'm going to be lost without them. I've only got a few episodes left of the next season. That's it all. 
forever. I'm gonna savour it as much as I can. Every little moment. I'm gonna make it an annual thing. Maybe like monthly. <laughs> I just watch them all the time, all the time. Isn't it so weird that John Cleese and Michael Palin were my favourite at the very start and they've just been my favourite like the whole way through? Obviously I love the others as well but there's just something about them two together. Especially Palin and his eyes. <laughs> They're like my best buds. I do actually feel a little bit sad. It's not normal to get so attached to people that you don't even know. <laughs> It's not normal, is it? Okay, it's time to say goodbye. That's all we have for today. I'm glad it ended with another three-parter. I would have really felt hard done by if there was only two. Now I've got my flying circus fix for a little bit longer. If you like this video, then please give it a great big thumbs up. Make me feel better. Please, please subscribe if you're planning on staying. And there's Patreon now as well. If you want to, also get those post notifications up because the flying circus ones are especially bad for getting taken down later on. <laughs> That's it, that's it all. <laughs> I'm mean, so sad. I felt so much better about it when we was at the start. And we had a long way to come. It's not fair. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.